LA and it's the intermission right now. Act one was great and I'm so excited. Because of course, when you see things when you're younger, sometimes you don't remember. Like when people say, I'm not gonna take my child to Disney because they're not gonna remember anything. Like for me, this is something that I'm going to remember for the rest of my life. And I'm glad I did it now when I did at the age that I'm at and at the path and place I am in my life with dance. Like it was so much more meaningful for me. And I appreciate my parents so much for this Christmas gift. Um, it, it, it's, I can't put it into words. I would probably be here for an hour or more just trying to talk about it but it's it's almost leave, it leaves me speechless because and I have like videos I'll post like I'll put up um, on the screen now it's just quick little snippets I took of like the bows um, and um, it was it was a, it was a great night it was wonderful and I will say if you've never seen it go see it no matter what theater you go see it at but of course it's nothing like seeing the New York City Ballet and I will definitely hands down say I will definitely go back and see them perform again. Um, I love ballet. Like, I personally, when I was in, you know, college and I was taking ballet, like, I hated having to put my hair up in a bun and all that stuff. But it taught me a lot of things. It taught me discipline and structure. And I use that for my teacher and professors. Now, as I teach, um, they instilled a lot in me. Um, and I love watching ballet. Like, I just, it's something about it. It's just so beautiful and fluid and flowy and like I will not say I'm about to get up on stage and you know be a ballerina of course when we're younger we say oh I want to be a ballerina um I admire Misty Copeland always have um but I know that's not for me to be on stage and do the Nutcracker but I will definitely say I could see that again and again and again it was just a beautiful beautiful memory that I will cherish forever and it was great seeing it with my dad um so I had to I totally didn't end the vlog like I said when I first started I forgot to end the vlog because by the time we got home it was midnight and I was not about to pull out the camera because all I wanted to do at that point was eat shower and sleep because I knew I had to get up in four hours and surprisingly I am good waking up this morning I was pretty good so that's pat on the back for me because I, I didn't know how I was gonna make it through because I was falling asleep on the way there and falling asleep on the way back it was so funny the car ride <laughs> i probably fell asleep like a hundred million times on my dad and then woke back up and joined back in the conversation like i was never asleep it was it was funny to me it was funny but i will definitely say you know those things that you have on your to-do list or things that you want to do do it like continue saying it and especially if you don't have people like surprising you for it or doing it for you do it for yourself like i know I put it out there as my Christmas gift because I don't want anything for Christmas. Um, and that's really what I wanted was to see the New York City Ballet um, perform and do the Nutcracker. Um, but yeah, like do something this holiday season that you've wanted to do for a while. And for me, it was going to see that. And I will definitely say I'm still smiling. My cheeks hurt. <laughs> still smiling about it. And it was definitely the highlight for me um for Christmas other than getting my Kobe's I got Kobe Bryant shoes that was a big one for me um but yeah as I get older I don't want a lot of things um and the things that I do want that's me working for myself like working on my own to get it like house and all that stuff but those things that you have in your mind that you're like oh I want this voice it you know share it with people you know you never know who's gonna surprise you um and then surprise yourself with it you know work for it but I hope you guys enjoyed just like snippets. I know the drive, it was a lot with the driving, but it was a drive for sure. And it was funny because my dad and I had to run from the garage to get to the show. And it was funny because other people were running too. So the traffic was crazy, but I, I wouldn't change any of that night. Like the time we got there, like all that stuff, because it made that experience for us. I don't know. I'm sure my dad would agree, but I don't want to speak for him, but I'm sure that he would say the same but it was a great experience it was a great evening um and I felt like I was in the movie center stage and like just all those movies that happened there I, it was it was cool it was cool I had a inner child 
in a child moment. Um, it was great. But I hope you guys, like I said, enjoyed the snippets and the pictures that I'm, I put up in this vlog. I wish I could have recorded more. But like I said, I just wanted to be kind of in the moment and in the experience and feel immersed in the Nutcracker, especially because I'm about to perform next week. Uh, to be exact, next Thursday and next Friday um, and Crack Nuts for Flair Dance Company. Um, so it was definitely great to see that before performing in the show um, next week. So I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. I know it's probably all over the place, but the day was all over the place, honestly. But it was a beautiful experience and I hope from me just sharing my experience and you hearing it, that you can feel the excitement and the joy I felt from that Christmas gift. So, hope you guys are having a beautiful day, um, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.